I'm Lenore Farrick. I'm a biology professor at Carleton. And the type of things that we look at is how human activities, so for example, building roads, uh, growing crops, cutting forest, how these things affect the variety, the number of different types of wild animals and plants. Um, what we actually look at is how the patterns of these activities, so the pattern of the road network, the sizes of crop fields, the number of different types of crops, how these things affect the variety variety of wild animals and plants. This is important for several reasons. First of all, everyone would like to live in a world with a variety of wild animals and plants. It's hard to imagine living in a world without this variety of wildlife out there. Uh, but also this wildlife provides uh, for us several services. For example, uh, they pollinate our crops, they uh, reduce the pest infestations on our crops and in our forests, and uh, they clean our water supply. And all of these things are important services that uh, wild animals and plants provide for us. And uh, what we're doing is trying to understand how we can have these activities at, but at the same time maintain these wild animals and plants in our environment.